All right, folks, Jason at Edmentum. We're back with uh, video two of three, looking at the fall 2020, fall 2021, excuse me, release of new content in Exact Path. The first of the three part video series, we looked at a brand new kindergarten lesson in reading. Now we're gonna take a look at a brand new first grade lesson in reading. And I think you'll notice a little bit of similarity. The first video, uh, for the kindergarten level, uh, looked at key details. And what we're going to look at here, again, are major events, key details. Right here, we have our objective, describe major events in a story. The students know exactly what it is that's going to be asked of them. Here's the title of this particular lesson. What do you think of this new school garden, Manu? Isn't it beautiful? It sure is, Meg. I had a lot of fun at the grand opening. I think it was one of the best events of the school year so far. Manu is a familiar face here. It was a really path. major event for our pops class. Pops up in reading, pops up in language arts, math activities. I know, I'll activities. always remember it. You know, stories have major events too. Major events are the most important things that happen in a story. Up here in that That's word right. bubble, and major we can events use are the most important key things that happen in a story. We can events. use key details to describe those major events. Most important parts of events the are the things tutorial. that You'll happen in a story. Events happen in order. Bubbles. Sequence is the order events happen in. Major events are the most important events that happen in a story. Important events help tell the story. If an important event was taken out of a story, it would be hard to understand sure what was happening. One important event might be the problem the characters face. Another important event might be how the characters tutorial. solve the problem. Represents a different slide. Here we're on Minor four. events Up are the less the important corner, events that see. happen five, in a story. Four, a less important event can help what you you're picture see here in a what is happening, is but it is not needed to understand the, the whole story. If a less Fluent important event was taken out of a story, you would viewer. still understand what was happening. When you read, look for key details. Key details are important details. pieces Again, of information in the story. They can be used to describe events. Knowing which key details describe one. important the, the events will help you better understand a story. I have a book here called The New Student. We can read it together and look for key details that describe the important events in the story. Looking for key Would details. You like to see that? Major events. Yes, I think that's a great idea. And now we're going to dig into it. And this a one actually takes a little bit longer because of the fact that, again, this is the first grade lesson. Her name is a little bit Nikki. More text. Annie but again, you'll is see excited. Some similarities. Each Nikki one of the words smiles. is highlighted here as the fluent reader. She reads looks down the at the ground. Annie smiles back at her. Here. What are the events at the beginning of this story? We're going to look well, at the different events. Let's think it through. And we're going to dig let's back into the text in order to find those sentences a new that are important walks into class. to the story. Nikki smiles. Annie smiles back at her. A variety of different things that she happen on this on first page. Desk. Now we're going to try to figure out what are the Those major are all events. events, but I'm not sure which is the most important event. Remember, the most important event is one you can't take out of the story. If you take it out, the story doesn't make sense. That's right. Okay, so the most important event here is that a new student walks into class. Very Thanks good. for helping me figure that out, Meg. So Meg helped I'm Manu there. I'm glad I could help Manu. Now let's look for some key details to describe that event. Now we're looking for some additional key details. The story says her name is Nikki, and we know she's in That's Annie's help class because the story, the story says forward. Annie is excited. So we can use those key details to describe the important event this way. A new student named Nikki I like how walks it into Annie's class. Summarizes. The other events are less important. The Look at the page. event. Annie smiles back at her. These are things that effective That's readers less will do as event. they're consuming text. If we took out that event, we would still understand the story. Wow, we did a great job working together on that, Meg. The viewer. Let's keep reading to see what happens next. Going to continue on to the next page. 
Annie again, a wants bit longer Nikki text, but again, to be her friend. Here into she thinks maybe the rest of the text. We're going to get the middle to another of the task, story. and it's going to ask the students Let's look again for an important event in this to part of the story. reflect on what's been presented to them already, get the students involved in this particular activity. Thanks again for taking a look at video two of three. Uh, the last video in this series, we'll look at the new, an example of one of the new reading lessons in Exact Path for second graders. Um, and uh, very much looking forward to sharing that with you. Thanks again for being with me today. Hope you have a great day.